Hello everyone, welcome back to Shabest Online Tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to find the probability generating function of a negative binomial distribution. So the first thing we are going to do is to write the distribution function of a binomial, of a negative binomial distribution. And x is distributed negative binomial into the parameter r, p. So the next thing is the function. So and the function is given a probability of x is equal to x, which is the same as what x minus 1 combination, what r minus 1, multiplied by p raised to the power of r, multiplied by q raised to the power of x minus r. And x is ranges from what 0, 1, then up to n. So the next thing we are going to do, remember we are looking for probability generating function which is denoted as g sub x of x, which is equal to what? Summation s raised to the power of x, then multiply by probability of x is equal to x. And we know that probability of x is equal to x is the same as this negative binomial function. So the next thing we're going to do is to substitute into this formula. So we have the generating function, which is g sub x of s is equal to what? Summation, remember, x is raised from 0 to n, x raised to the power of x, and the probability function is what? x minus 1 combination r minus 1, p raised to the power of r, q raised to the power of x minus r. So, <clears throat> what is the next thing we are going to do? g sub x of x, which is the same as what? Summation as x raised from 0 to n, then s raised to the power of x. So in this place, we are going to introduce something. We are going to multiply by what? x raised to the power of r over what? x raised to the power of r. Then if you divide this by this, it's going to give us 1. Then 1 multiplied by s raised to the power of x. So nothing changed here. We just introduce this. Then we copy this. x minus 1 combination r minus 1 raised, multiplied by what? p raised to the power of r, q raised to the power of x minus r. But we know that this can also be written as what? As x raised from 0 to n. s raised to the power of x multiplied by this. The whole of this can also be written as what? s raised to the power of r multiplied by s raised to the power of minus r. So this is the same. When the s to the, s to the power of r goes up, it returns to the inverse. So we have x minus 1, r minus 1. P raised to the power of R, Q raised to the power of X minus R. So, this is also can be written as what well. X is equal to 0 to N. So, our focus here is to have a term that will have the power to, of X minus R. So, in this case, what do we do? This S to power R, we first write it X to the power of R multiplied by, it will remain S to power X and S to the power of minus R. So, we can multiply them together. Since the base are the same, we write one of the base, then we add the two powers. So the first power was, is x plus the second power, which is plus minus r, is the same as one minus r. Then multiply by what x minus 1, r minus 1, p raised to the power of r, q raised to the power of x minus r. So which is going to be equal to summation as x raises from 0 to n. Now, if you look, we are going to write this one, x minus 1, then a combination r minus 1, then this and this have the same power, so we can multiply them together. s multiplied by p is going to give us p, s, then always to the power of r, which is they are the same power. Then we multiply these two together again, since they have the same power. q multiplied by s is the same as what q, s, then raised to the power of what x minus r. So what is the next thing we are going to do is to take this ps out. So we take ps raised to the power of r, summation of what x minus 1, r combination r minus 1, q multiplied by x all raised to the power of what x minus r. So therefore g sub x of x which is generating the generating function, the probability generating function is equal to what? P multiplied by x raised to the power of r. Remember this I summation, x is raised from 0 to n. So if you take the summation of this as x start from 0 to n, we are going to have what, 1 minus q s, then raised to the power of minus r. So g, g sub x of s now will equal to what? 
P S raised to the power of R. We know this can also be written as what well, one over one minus Q S then raised to the power of R. Then G sub X of S is equal to what? When we multiply this, we're going to have P S raised to the power of R all over what? One minus Q S raised to the power of R. So therefore, we're not going to stop here since their power are the same. So this is the same as what generating probability generating function is the same as what p multiplied by s all over one minus q s then all raised to the power of r. So this is the probability generating function of a Poisson distribution. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel and also follow us for more video like this. Thanks.